Hey there everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. We're going to be showcasing how to set up and use schedules for Revive Node hosting, or this works for any type of server using a Pterodactyl panel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So we're going to go to our schedules tab, and this is what it should look like, and we're going to head and click create new. And so in here, I'm going to be showcasing a uh, broadcast setup, and this is going to be the schedules. But schedules are really helpful if you want to use like a daily restart system or some sort of giveaway way uh, reward system for a certain day of the week uh, and then you can set up a schedule in here which would be pretty cool so we're going to head and call this broadcast because that's what i'm going to be using and in here you can select the day of the week if you want to use all of them you can just use the asterisk symbol and i will go ahead and do all of them and the same for the day of the month as well so go ahead and just put that in there next is going to be the hour of the day if you are using revive node all the servers are going to be located in gmt time zone so if if you want to figure that out, I just recommend you Google your time zone and then it will tell you how far away or behind or ahead you are uh, between that. So if you are in the Eastern Standard Time, uh, it is currently 2.17 and then that is translated over to 7.17 p.m. And so if you are using like something on the West Coast, you could do PSC in like California. And so this is eight hours behind this time zone. So that is what I'm going to be using. So just go ahead and Google whatever time zone that you're in. So for my current time zone, say I want to do uh, something that executes about uh, we'll do like uh, uh, 3 p.m. so this would be in like the late afternoon so 3 p.m. this would be 11 p.m. GMT time but this would be 3 p.m. my local time so we would need to set something up at 11 p.m. so if we come down here this is in the 24 hour format so we would select 23 because that would be 11 o'clock and then 000 is the 12 o'clock or midnight so we want to do 11 p.m. so the minute of the hour is all set up between five second intervals so we can go ahead and do it at like the top of the hour or like 10 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and do 11 p.m sharp okay so that would be at the top of hour, so that would be 3 p.m. or 11 p.m. in this time zone. So let's go ahead and execute whatever commands that we want. So this in here, you can select if you want it to execute right away or a 5 second delay, 10 second delay. Uh, so I'm going to keep it at 0. And then we can select minutes or seconds, so I'm going to keep it seconds. And then we can do a send command or a power action. So I'm just going to do the send command. And keep in mind when you're doing the command, you need to remove the slash because this will be in the console. So I'm going to go ahead and do broadcast and we'll just say uh, this is the first command all right so we can go ahead and do that if you want to add another task go ahead and just hit add task and then we can execute and we can have like a few delays so we can do like two and then we can do like the same command uh, and we're going to go ahead and broadcast and we'll just say this is the second and so on and so forth so keep in mind as you see they are relative to the previous defined task so they basically go go in consecutive order so once this is up then it waits two seconds and then once this is up you could do another one so for this one, I'm going to do like ECO give at everyone and then we can give everyone like $100, all right? So that would execute exactly right after this command. So let's go ahead and create the schedule. And so now we can go back to the schedules tab so you can click up here or over here. So now let's go ahead and test it out. And if we go ahead and click trigger schedule, this will go ahead and trigger it. And this is how you find out what time zone your servers are in. So let's go ahead and click continue. And then I'm going to open a council tab and let's see. So here we go. It is working. So it says that this is the first command and then it just waited uh, this is the second and it executed the third command just like so So here is the the interval. So it's about three ish seconds So it's not quite exact, but it's close enough. Uh, so there we go That is the first command that is executed the second one and then the the give uh, economy command after you do your trigger test schedule, uh, it will tell you when it was last run. So this is the time that it was in. So this is how you figure out where your servers uh, are located in what time zone. So you would just go from based off what time zone that you're in and you just type in Google, hey, uh, like you just say, this is eight hours ahead of me, what time zone is that? And then that would give you the time. So there we go. So that is uh, gonna be working. So as you see, it is gonna be executed three hours from now, which is what we set up. So that is working properly. I'm gonna head and actually edit this one and I'm gonna put in my username right here so we'll do a soul striker uh, so we'll go ahead and update the schedule and then I'm gonna be in game real quick so let me switch over to my screen so I'm gonna head and run this uh, trigger schedule again so we'll go ahead and execute it and we should get as you see there's the first command and then we wait a few seconds and there's the second and there we go we just added a hundred dollars to our account so there we go that is how you set up schedules with pterodactyl and with revive node if you guys have any questions be sure to come join the discord 
Discord or uh, leave them down in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.